I think um, central key is going to be D lineman Aaron Rodgers uh, and disrupting the, the the run game as well uh, with those guys. So Clowney, Q Jefferson, all those guys. I think just getting penetration and being disruptive uh, and playing on the other side of the line of scrimmage. I think is going to be huge for this game. It's all about leaning on the the vets that have done it right. The Russell Wilson, Marshawn, uh, KJ Wright, Bobby Wagner. Leaning on those guys because they've been in those moments. They've been in championship moments. They know what the, what it's like. But at the end of the day, it's just football. I think once you get over that hurdle of understanding, hey, you've prepared all season long, keep the same routine going, continue to keep chopping away that way and not making the game bigger than what it is. It's an honor. It's an honor. A lot of legends have been up here. Um, not too many people get this opportunity to go up and, and or come up, should I say, and, and do this. So I'm definitely honored. Uh, this is really cool. This is a real cool opportunity for me. So I'm, I'm fortunate to, to be considered to do this. Shouts out to the Seahawks. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> Yeah, is this football weather? I don't know. This is a little, it's a little windier than we would like uh, on, on game day, that's for sure. The cold doesn't bother you. It's the, it's the wind and the, the little bit of rain. I think that's, that's, that's not really football weather for me. I'm from Florida, man. <laughs> you raised the flag at some trailing field, never at the top of the Space Needle. What are you expecting from this, and are you afraid of heights? How is it come, climbing up those stairs? So, I didn't know it was that many steps to go up, one. Um, am I afraid of heights? No, it's not that bad because it's, it's, it's bigger than I expected it to be. I, I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's bigger than what I expected it to be. I actually thought up here had the glass floors too. That would have freaked me out a little bit, I think. But this is, this is okay. This is okay, and I got a lot of people up here with me, so I don't feel too bad. <laughs> Oh, Sunday should be great, man. I'm excited. I think the guys can definitely make some things happen. Um, you know, with Air, uh, with um, Russell Wilson, Bobby Wagner, KJ, Marshawn being back, all guys that have played in championship games, I definitely think uh, their experience will uh, bring bring the other the younger players along and, and allow them to go out there and perform well. Take us into what it feels like to be in a playoff environment. Oh, it's it. I mean, you know, most of my playoff environments have been at home here in Seattle, but. Um, but no, it's, it's, it's a different ball game from the standpoint of obviously, you know, if you don't play well, you go home. But also, I think the teams that, that, that understand that it's just another football game and go out there and perform they, the way they've been performing all season long, the reason they've gotten to that point and the way they've gotten to that point, those teams are the teams I think will, will continue to keep playing well. And I think Coach Carroll does a really good job of telling his team and getting his team prepared in that way. mentally prepare for those cold temperatures and just the elements that they'll be facing? Uh, sometimes, you know what, you really can't prepare for it. You can't mimic it. You know, a lot of times coaches try to uh, open up the, the, the facility to let all the cold air in to kind of replicate what they're going to feel. But on game day, it's completely different. You know, it's going to be a little colder, but it's all about just preparing again mentally. If you mentally are prepared uh, and don't necessarily care what the weather elements are, you'll, out, you'll be able to go out there and perform. But Really, it's the first hit. Once you get that first hit, you shake it off. Okay, now we're just playing football. But you know, prepping in the cold can can sometimes be be a little harder. They were able to practice outside yesterday, so hopefully oh. that that'll help a little bit. Now, for you know, the guys are traveling today. When mm -hmm. as they're loading up on those buses, getting ready to head to SeaTac, what is kind of a player's mental like? What's what's your perspective like knowing that you're about to play in a divisional round? Again, I think. You can't, you can't make it bigger than what it is. Although, yes, it is a divisional round. Although, yes, if you lose, you, you, you end up, you know, um, staying at home the next week or whatnot. But you have to go out there and perform uh, the way you've been performing all season, preparing the way you've been preparing all season, having all the, the, the same mindset as you did all season. Or, again, you know, you'll go out there and try to do too much, and I think that's when you get the offsides, the penalties, and different things like that. All right, well, you ready for this? I think Let's go. Let's have some fun. Let's do this. Woo.
That's awesome. Thank you. Can you do it again next week? If we get this dub, yes. When we get the dub. Oh, when we get this dub, yes, please call on me. <laughs> this is an honor. I appreciate it. I really do. I really... Seahawks, thank you guys. Now let's go get this dub so we can do it again next week. Let's go.